go. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> so diaphragmatic breathing, which is which is when you hold this inhale. Doesn't move. Yes, and when you inhale, push your belly button up to the ceiling so that your whole diaphragm fills up with air, and then exhale normally. Okay. Now I'll just let you practice it for a sec. So. Right, exhale, so it goes in concave or just flat. No, I want you just to go flat first. Yes. And do I want to really feel the air coming in? Uh huh. Yes. So if it's easier right now to practice with your mouth instead of your nose, whatever feels more comfortable right now. For the nose, all right? Yes. normal to no. you good as I get to the top that's when you want to really you're kind of feeling like that even more is going in here uh -huh. and it's kind of going down into the lungs right yes. you feel like kind of goes exactly you want to get that feeling yes so I know because since I've just had surgery right I've right that spirometer have you yeah. heard of yes and it's kind of the same thing you just can when you get to that next level you just feel something kind of deep inside kind of opening up mm -hmm. okay. how are you how are you feeling great good good and soreness in the muscles on the yeah. side that's been the only thing yeah oh that's so great I'm glad Okay. So then this will really actually help you um, yeah, I know, post-surgery exactly. as well. Doing it. Yeah. Good. Okay. Good. Let's go a few more reps and then I'm going to add something to it. Are you practicing this at home? Not yet. Okay, gotcha. I think this is really good for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so now what I want you to do is I want to activate your core um, with this. So you're going to breathe the same, but now with the exhale, that's when you bring your belly button to your spine. Okay, so inhale, belly button up to the ceiling. As you exhale, all your air out, suck in and bring it to your belly button. It's going to flare up your core. You're going to feel a slight burning, okay? And it may take a few reps to feel it, but let's see how it goes. Nice. Good. And don't let your hips do the work. Let your core just sink down. Let's go one more. I understand the difference between the core and the hips. Yes, good, good. Do you feel your core as you suck in? Yeah. Good, good. So this is activating your transverse abdominis. So it's the muscle that starts from your spine and wraps around here. Okay. And then you have your obliques and then you have your rectus abdominis. But okay. this one is the one that stabilizes your spine and your pelvis okay. so it's really good to activate because a it helps work diaphragmatic breathing and it gets your core nice and solid and what is this kind of breathing called again diaphragmatic breathing diaphragmatic diaphragmatic so okay. you breathe diaphragm your diaphragm, diaphragm. Your diaphragm. Okay, yes gotcha. exactly yeah. and the reason why we like to do this is because breathing here is shallow breathing so a you're not using your lungs full potential uh, but b when you use your diaphragm you get more oxygen to the brain Okay. And when you get more oxygen to the brain, your muscles function better. Oh, so wow. that's kind of, yes. I want that for sure. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So it's really good. So next exercise that we're going to do is we're going to do the balloon. So basically what this is, is it's naturally contracting your core without having to think about it because you're pushing against that pressure, right? So you're going to just diaphragmatic breathe, inhale. When you exhale, just let your air out into the balloon. And don't worry about the core? Don't, don't worry about the core because it's going to do it yourself. I'm going to we'll worry about it in a sec. So it's so straight here. Mm -hmm. okay, yeah. See how that shifted? You feel your core already? Good. Relax. So you, so we, we like to do this exercise because you don't even have to think about it and you just blowing into the balloon makes your core do how we want it to. Okay. So we're, we're seeing a visual of how you should contract your core correctly. Right? So keep your hand on your stomach, kind of feel around as you or blow into the balloon. Nice. Good. Yep, that's great. Beautiful. Let's go one more time with the balloon. Beautiful. 
Good. So now take the balloon out. Now I want you to do that exercise without the balloon. So as you exhale, tighten your core. You're not sucking in, but you're just tightening your abdominals as if you were blowing into that balloon. Yeah. Beautiful. There you go. That was really good. That was all core. That was great. Beautiful. Do you feel your core light up for you? Nice. Very beautiful. It's almost like, as I do that, it's a, it's a, it is pushing down, mm -hmm. but, but I also feel like I'm kind of like turning this like kind of uh -huh. in. Is that, yes. is that okay? Exactly. Is that what you want? Uh -huh. I'm kind of trying to go like that. Yes, so everything is... So it's not the exactly. hips, but I'm feeling the little, whatever the muscles are going like... Yes, Ee. yes, your obliques are your, your obliques are adding to the, okay. the equation, and okay. that's perfectly fine. Does this cause you any discomfort or any... Nope. Good. Good. So um, you can take the balloon home if you want to practice that okay, yeah. too. Um, the balloon is the like a coaching key to maybe yes. do a couple of times to just understand what's happening exactly. here, and then you have to then use your brain and the muscle activation mm -hmm. to do that on your own. Yes. That's the idea. Yes, exactly. And can it's you just beautiful. be lazy to do the balloon by itself? I mean, just put the balloon. Yeah. No. Yeah. You can. The do idea it. would be that you don't need the balloon, and then you can yes. figure, you're training yourself exactly to get that yeah. same feeling. So mm -hmm. then, um, what's the recommended reps? times per day, whatever. So with so with you, I would practice this every day okay. to start um, until you get really good about, about it. But especially diaphragmatic breathing, I want you to do it a few different times in the day. But I want you to do it, so obviously you can do it one time laying down, but I want you to do it like when you're at a stoplight, if you're sitting on the couch, just at oh. random moments, if you're waiting in line at a grocery oh, yeah. store, uh -huh. check in with yourself and be like, how am I breathing right now? Oh crap. I'm going like this, okay. right? And then switch it. The more that you can switch it just in day-to-day -day activities, the more your brain's going to start breathing like that. So and the idea is that that's how you want to always be breathing. Yes. Okay. Yes. I understand. Because exactly. I'm, doing, I'm doing the same thing with getting to neutral spine when I'm walking. Nice. Good. I'm yes. constantly like checking yeah. myself yeah. and I'll stop. I'll actually literally stop myself walking and say, okay, you know, squeeze your scapula. Good. Good. And then do the little thing with the, uh -huh. I call the belt buckle thing, yes. you know, to yes. make sure I have neutral spine. Perfect. That's fantastic. So same idea. Yep. So same idea okay. with the breathing. That's going to be fantastic. Awesome. Good job. Great question. Thank you so much. Do you want to stop this? Yes.